this is your second journey. Yes, sir. This is your second journey. Yes, sir. You are very correct, sir. You are very correct, sir. That is, this is your second journey. This is your second journey. You are journey. very yes. correct, sir. That's true, sir. You are looking for a child. Y yes, sir. Okay, come on. Some time after the prophecy from the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, the couple came back to the Synagogue Church of All Nations to testify to the glory of God. Emmanuel! Yes, God is with us. I want to say that I am the honor of our time. Brother, look at me, you will see it. That I am the honor of our time. I am Mrs. Oloye Akbos Kebi. The man beside me is my lovely husband, young, handsome, that God sent to me. Indeed, it's a God sent. The problem that brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations was barrenness. Barrenness of 20 years. Today, the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua has wiped away my midnight tears. The God of Prophet T.B. Joshua has taken away all the embarrassments. There are some people that will come to my shop just to tell me my problem, not that they will want to buy something. They will come, and when I tell them the prices of some things, they will say, are you, you don't have expenses now, so you can sell things on a high prices because you don't have expenses. They want to tell me that I don't have children to take care. That is why my prices are high. But it is the same thing in the market. That was what I was facing. But today, the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua, that never failed, has made me a mother, has wiped away my tears. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Now that God has done How it. How do you move now? Ah. Eh? If I'm moving, even if you are busy doing something, I will say, good morning, yo. how on a day? They'll say, hey, madam, thank God for you. I will just be moving. So now you can make younger. Yes. Even when my tummy was not big as this, I used to, <laughs> you know. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Tell your neighbor, your shame shall be taken away. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Emmanuel. Church, good morning. Our names are Mr. and Mrs. Oleye Kebi. We are from Bayasa State, but we live in Abuja. The problem that brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations was barrenness. This problem brought shame into my life, to my family, to my friends. This problem continued for 20 years. Then I was very beautiful. Because of this problem, my beauty has faded away. Being a beautiful young lady, Men would just come, deceived me, that you've not heard about me. That other woman that was barren for five years, I slept with her just one night, and she conceived. People will come with different stories, but I know that one day, God will do it for me. Some of them, I don't listen to them. I know they have come to mock me, so I did not listen to them. But I went into a relationship, I can say marriage. The man also told me that I should not worry. But at the end of the day, because of the family stress, the heat, how can you keep this lady that cannot give you children? The man fought people. He did everything, but it will not avail. At the end, he took me to somewhere. They said, he's a pastor. We went there, not knowing that they have told him that I am a witch. I'm the one that is killing my children in the coven, that I gave birth in the coven. So he also believed them, so he took me to that place. Believing that 
I will manifest and confess. Because in that place, there is a well water. When you drink that well water, if you are a witchcraft, you will begin to manifest and begin to confess. But he never told me that. He only said, he's taking me to a place where God will answer my prayers. And we went there. All my belief was to pray and let breakthrough come. So when we got there, they gave me that well water to drink. As I drink that well water, I was just praying. While I was praying, him and his people, they were somewhere watching me, whether I will manifest and confess that I'm the one that is killing my children, that I'm giving baths in the coven. They did not see anything. He came and told me that, let's go, that this is why I brought you here, that I've seen that you are innocent. I have some friends there and sisters that wore uniform. Some of them, when they come closer to me to make friends with me, they will tell them that, that lady, don't go closer. She's a witch. She's the one that is keeping herself this way. It's when you have love of God that you can only come closer to me. And that was how I packed out of that marriage. And when my husband here, the one that God has sent, the young, handsome, promising man. <laughs> that God sent to me, I told him. I said, young man, you can't carry this load. I am a barren woman. Before, not now. He said, they have told me. I've heard about it. But something told me that I should come to you, that you are my wife. I don't even know why. But I believe it is God that is bringing me to you. I said, this is my problem. He said, don't worry. There is a place I will take you to. And before then... Friends told me that I should come to synagogue. A pastor told me that I should not come. That I will come and had more problems to my problem. I should not come. So I was somehow confused. Being somebody that looking for something, I was somehow confused. But when he came and said, he's bringing me to the synagogue church of all nations, I accepted him and we came. I want to say this. Today, me sitting down here, being celebrated by the whole world, in my state, Bayasa state, and where I'm coming from, is because of the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua, the Tokunadu God. <laughs> because while I was passing through this problem, there was a time I called my husband. You don't have problem. Why don't you go and marry a young girl that will give you children? He said no. That he is believing the God of TB Joshua that he will do it for us one day. I have a shop. Some people will come to my shop like they want to buy something. Because there is no other thing for me to do to make myself happy is to dress. I don't care how much they sell a dress. I will go for it. When I wear it in the night, I will be crying all through. When they break, you know, say this roof, they cover many things now. In the morning, I will clean my tears. I will wear a very nice dress. Just to make me happy, I will go to my shop. And because they want to tell me, they remind me of my problem, of which I'm doing like I don't know. Dressing, making myself happy. Some people will come to the shop and say, ah, your dress fine, how much? And I will tell them 50,000, 100,000. They say, hmm, because you know, say you never get children now. Now you make it, they do these expenses. Just to come and mock me. But the God of TB Joshua removed all that mockery from me. Wipe away my midnight tears. Those people that were coming to mock me, I tell you that from the day I gave this testimony, that time I came when I was pregnant, visitors have not stopped visiting me. People have not stopped coming to my house till this date. And there was a time my husband called me. He said he wants to go to the mountain to fast for me. How many days? Seven days. And it went. The mountain is not far from where we are staying. About the third day, if you see him, you won't recognize him again. It was very thin. It's as if I just woke up from sleep. I said, come. And there was a big rain that was falling. Storm, big storm. I saw him on top of the mountain, opening his hand, praying to the almighty God. I'm like, why am I here? This man is innocent. He does not know anything. He's very, very okay. He's fit to pregnant a woman. I am the one that has problem. That man is suffering there because of me, and I'm here eating, celebrating. 
I just came out from the house with the dress I wore. I went and stood at the middle of the road, so cars that were coming could not pass. People thought I've run mad, but I was like, it does not need to suffer because I'm the problem. That was how I went and stood at the middle of the road. And as I was standing there, the rain was beating me. I was crying. At the time, I said, let me go and meet him in the mountain, and I went. In the mountain there, I told him, I said, if you finish this fasting and I don't conceive, I will kill myself. I have my siblings here with me. One of them there, I called him a winch because he's a pastor. I said, you are a pastor? You are praying for people? Why am I still like this? Because of this problem. I cannot associate with people. He said he's praying for me. To tell you that it was not easy for me at all. But because I believe my husband and that he's a godsend, I came with him to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. And the prophet of our time, Prophet T.B. Joshua, called me out. <laughs> and he said, you are looking for children. I said, yes. Immediately, my husband ran out. He came. And he was like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because... You will not understand. He's a young man. He's very handsome, educated. Not that he does not see women out there, but because he believes in the God of Tibi Joshua, for the Tibi Joshua that's sent by God to help us, calling me out, you know that the matter is settled. The case is settled. <laughs> Where he's working, some days my husband will come back home, all his eyes will be red, naps will be standing. My own is that maybe he has seen a woman he wants to marry and he's angry with me. Not knowing that where he's working, both the boss, everybody make mockery of him. Why are you still wasting your time with this woman? Even girls in the office approached him. Look at me, I'm young, I'm fresh. I can give you children. He refused, and they called him woman rapper because he does not go for them. Sometimes it's this, those shames that is bringing him back home, and he's not always happy. And I'll be giving him trouble again, that maybe it's because he don't want me again. Sometimes he will say, you don't know, that it's because of you. I'm passing through all this. So cut the long story short. All those shames, all the mockeries, all the embarrassments, the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua has ended in my life. <laughs> when I came here, when he prophesied to me, delivered me and my husband, I went back home to Abuja. The second day, the Prophet T.B. Joshua that he sent to me, I don't know of you, appeared to me in my dream. And he told me that God said, I should give you two children. He gave me the twin in my dream. For fear of lying, I know it was two girls. And I woke my husband up and I told him, I said, Prophet T.B. Joshua appeared to me and he told me that God said he should give me two children and he gave me two children. And we celebrated. I said, it is finished. The following day, which is the morning, we went to market, we bought baby things, twin clothes, came back home, dressed them on our bed. If you enter, you would think, it's, in short, it was two children that was lying. Every morning, we would greet them, our children, good morning. We would pray with them before we would go out. And behold, because he is a God sent to come and wipe away my tears, we met as husband and wife, and after some time, I was feeling feverish. Some months back, and we went to the hospital, and they confirmed me pregnant. <laughs> after like three to four months, they did test, and they said he's twin. I have not seen this kind of God. When I came, for the testimony, when I was seven months pregnant, I said it here. 
that I'm pregnant of twin. The God sent Prophet T.B. Joshua to give me two babies in my dream. I am pregnant of them. And when we left, people were like, are you so sure that you were not even afraid? You have not even delivered? Do you know that the whole world is watching you? You said it openly that you are pregnant of twin. I said, I know where I am coming from. I know the God of T.B. Joshua that never lied. Today, 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 this is the evidence that God and Prophet T.B. Joshua wipe away my tears. I don't know how to thank this God. Prophet T.B. Joshua, God will bless you. Will bless your ministry. Will bless everything that concerns you. And anybody that is here know that your home too has come. In Jesus' name. What are the names of your twin baby girls, man? Their names are Tamara Priye. In my language, mean God's gifts. Then the other one is Perere, wealthy woman. We are Mr. and Mrs. Oloye Kebi. These are my children. Beside us are family people. Uh, we came to dedicate the children to God and to thank uh, the man of God, Prophet David Joshua, who make himself available for God to use this mightily to put blessing to our face. During the years of barrenness, mostly the first day I met her, I told her that we will fight this battle together and you will have your children. From the day people knew our relationship up to the day of marriage, a lot of negative stories from both my side and our family people. In short, when we prepared to pay the bride price and everything, our family members called and said, don't try it. From my family too, they called and said, I shouldn't try it. And I didn't listen to anybody. I went ahead and uh, paid everything. We went to several specialists, both in Baeza and Abuja. And when the diagnoser, at the end, I would recommend the IVF. And at a point, a doctor told me that I should, I should go and look for a very younger girl to, to marry, that uh, what I'm trying to, to achieve will not be possible because her tubes are blocked. One is damaged, one is blocked. And that uh, it is only IVF that is the solution. And the IVF too, they said, is 50-50. The only option for us was to run to God because I've been watching uh, the man of God Joshua, on YouTube. And I was so convinced that uh, when we come, uh, our problem will be solved. And behold, when we came, the man of God located us through prophecy. He told my wife that uh, this is your second journey. And he turned at me and said, this is my second journey. And that we are looking for baby. And that was exactly what, why we came. And he prayed for us to deliver us. When we returned back to our base, about three months in that in short, before the three months, he had a dream, like what you just said, and went to the market and bought uh, baby clothes. About three months thereabouts, she said uh, she don't understand the uh, body system. And I said, what happened again? At that point, I said, uh, let's go to the hospital to check your system. So when we went, the very woman, the, the gynecology, who is a professor, a woman that was handling a case, did uh, the normal test and said, madam, you, you are pregnant. And we were so confused, and at that point, we were crying, thanking God. And today, these are the wonderful children God has given to us. I want to tell the people of God that whatever is your problem, whatever bundle of load you brought here with, just believe, know that your own problem is solved. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Before I give the advice, I want to say just one thing. You see some ladies standing there wearing the same attires. They are from Bayasa State. There is something that happens. When I gave the testimony, people were calling me. That is it real that it was Prophet T.B. Joseph that prophesied to you, prayed to you, and you, are con you conceived? I say yes. They never believed because so many of Bayasans has been coming. They never see something like this. And according to them, 
that they've been watching things like this. They thought it's an RNG. But because I'm well known in my place, and they know me very well, they were convinced that indeed the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua is original God. Madam, you mean that they knew the challenge that you were having? Very well, because I'm a popular person in my place. So they knew. There are people that are still in this place that never want to be identified with us. They are here. They came purposely to come and see if it is true that I was the one that gave that testimony. And I'm telling them, yes, it is me, Akbos, that gave that testimony. Glory be to Jesus. My advice first goes to men. Men out there, if you have a wife that have this challenge, stand by her. Don't give up. And you women, because I know how I trouble my husband, even when I know that I was the one that have the challenge, don't give up. Continue to show love to your husband. God will definitely do it for you. Be patient. God will do it for you. As he did it for me, he will do it for you. And those women at Bayasa State, like when I gave my testimony, I said I have a lot of friends. You know, when you have the same problem with somebody, whenever you meet, you talk about that very issue. I have a lot of friends. Then, when I was barren, we used to talk. I want to advise you guys. You know yourselves. I came to Synagogue Church of All Nations. Today, I'm a happy mother. Come, and your own problem too will be solved. There is nothing like Arenji. It is real. I am a mother today. My story has changed. Emmanuel.